okay so uh, in today class uh, what we will do right we will learn about how you can leverage rhl dvd as a yum server right means how you can create local yum server using rhl dvd right so you can follow same step for rhl or any any of the uh, right linux flavor which support rpm right so for that the very first thing you have to do you have to attach a dvd iso from your virtual machine so let me tell you the background which right now i'm using so i have installed a virtual box right and on top of that virtual box i have created one virtual right vm right virtual machine i have created on virtual box uh, the virtual machine is etc red hat os release so it's red hat 8.9 right so this server i'm using so i'm going to create a just like yum right from a iso right so currently you can see nothing is there right so i don't have uh right uh you know dvd mounted on the system all right so the first thing what i have to do i have to attach a dvd iso from the virtual machine so you can understand here whatever uh right virtual machine you have like you have a vmware you have a hypervisor you have a kvm or any any uh kind of virtual machine you have what you have to do you have to mount means you have to attach your dvd inside your virtual machine so that you can use that dvd as a dvd just like that you can use that iso as a dvd so i'm just going to attach it so yes so you cannot see that process right because that is on separate server uh, i have access this server through uh, right as a such right so now i have attached that iso right with the machine so once you will attach how you can verify so see still if i do df hyphen h nothing is mounted related to dvd so if you want to know what is the dvd so you have to run lsblk command right so once you will run lsblk you will find out the dvd see one dvd is currently attached right see here the id is sr0 and its rom right type is rom a size of the dvd is 12.6 gb right so let's mount this as a right a read only right because this is a command prompt right we don't have a graphical install so once you will insert dvd in the system that dvd will not mount automatically you have to mount that uh, iso means you have to mount mount that dvd right manually so how you can mount it so we'll let's check we have a blank folder or not so okay on mmt see nothing is there it's totally blank so we are going to mount this as r0 on slash mnt so how we can mount mount space slash dev and slash sr0 space slash mnt right so once you run this command it will give you a warning right device right protected and mounted read only so understand as this is the iso not the hard disk so you cannot write anything in, inside that iso right so that's why it's showing write protected means it's mounted read only right so if you want to verify now run df h command you will see on slash mnt one device called sr0 is mounted and the size is 13 gb so let's check inside the mnt if we'll do ls you will see all rpm and all you know everything is available inside this this is the iso which we use to do the installation of red hat so the base iso you can say base repo there are two two base repo right one is app stream and one is base 
oh yes this two repo is available in dvd2 right so what we have to do uh, you are able to see here we have one file called media dot repo so the very first step you have to mount the dvd right and second step you have to copy slash mnt slash media dot repo inside etc yum dot repos dot d right so once you will copy you will see here in etc yum dot repos dot d one file right so because we copied it so let's open this one okay and do the modification so once you will open it see vim command is not here so you cannot use vim use vi so here install media so here we have to configure that media right so what we have what we have to do it first you have to create here like we have two you know we have two uh repo available in the dvd first is base os right so you can write down so this will be your repo name right and you can give any name here like whatever name you want to give you can give all right r h e l base os p kg right so here in media id you can define right like bse base url base url is equal to right so this is the uh, url from where you have to pick the package so how you can pick let's save this and come out from this file and run mnt file here so once you will run this mnt you will find two folder one is app steam and second in base os so we are configuring base os so inside this base os you see there is a package called package and repo data so what path you have to give you have to define this path right means in the repo here base url you have to define how you can define because we are uh, defining local file system so you have to type uh, file file colon double backslash for the format and after that the first one this one right so means the first two slash is the format right and second one is the path right so you have to define like file colon triple slash mnt base os uh, because this repo data, uh, this base OS folder contain that repo data folder. So you have to define path which contain repo data folder, right? So GPG zero and you have to type here enable, right? Enabled is equal to one. So enable is equal to one means uh, you are enabling this repo, right? So after that, you can just copy the same line one two three four five six seven so just copy seven line right and then just paste it right so once you will paste it you can here app let me check that name here the correct name is required okay so it's app stream so means see you have to define same package here so now first one we created for the base os and second repo second entry we are doing for the app string repo right so you can define you can modify according to you and here here also you have to define the path where app stream directory is available so you can leave metadata expire minus one gpg zero means it will not check the gpg and the folder you have to do here enable is equal to one okay so now you can just save it okay so now you save it after this you have to run command yum update 
so once you will run this yum update you will see right two package the rgl base os right and second one rgl app stream os packages two repo is available and everything is updated so now our yum server is ready for use right so you can see here now we don't have and let me also check we don't have registered this system with red hat because you can see here it is yum.repos.t inside this we have media.repo and the second one is red hat.repo so let me show you that repo, red hat.repo so that you can be uh, be sure there is no registration for the red hat right so we don't have any registration you can also run this repo list command to see how many repo is available so see you can see here one is app steam one is base os both are available from local dvd okay so let's install something and verify this em so as you see we don't have this vim command installed in the server right so let's install it so how you can install yum install vim right so once you will run it see this one is going to install from where app stream right so repository it is saying app stream so let's install it okay great see now our installation has been completed so if you want you can install another yum install httpd right and see all packages available to see all packages available for the installation so from where it is available repo is app stream and base well. so this is the same repo which is available under your dvd right so if you are thinking something is not good right so see installation is done so for the verification purpose so this yum repository will work until and unless right you will remove your dvd so let if you will remove your iso from your system this yum will stop working so you, let's verify that too do5nh so let's you do u mount slash mnt see now we have unmounted our disk right means there is no dvd attached right now right so if you will run this command again yum install uh tell net right let's see what will happen it is asking right okay it is asking but once you will run it it will say there is no such file or directory right see because once we do yum update so once we do one a update it's create one you know uh you can see repo data right that repo data contain all the package information available in the repo but the actual file means actual rpm is not available because we have just unmounted the dvd so that's why see it is saying no such file or directory right because we have unmounted that dvd so once you will mount again it will start working again right so here let's run that mount command because dvd is attached is still attached on the system it's unmounted only but dvd attached but we have unmounted so let's run the mount command and see if that works again right so now we have mounted and let's install telnet again see this time installation is completed so i hope this video will help you to use yum server from your dvd so see uh, i'm using directly uh, iso so that i can save the disk image if you want you can com copy complete iso to your local sys file system means your server and also after that you can give that path manually right so i hope you understand so let me uh all right just tell you if you face any issue related to this you can ping me out if you have any query or anything okay
great so i hope you will enjoy this video and it will help you a lot in day to day tasks for doing the installation of any package which come under the red hat okay thanks